Hey Tires, Darren here again with another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through the Elk Hair Cat S. This is a simple fly to tie, but one that I've caught many, many trout and pan fish on. This was first designed in 1957 by legendary fly tire Al Troth. He initially tied this for the Long Sock Creek in Pennsylvania and tied it for the Green Caddis Hatch. Now there's many versions of this pattern that have emerged over the years, somewhat like a woolly bugger where you've got changes in the hackle, the dubbing, the wing, and even the size. You can tie these into bigger sizes like number 6 or number 8 for uh, steelhead skaters rather than the usual 12 to size 18 say for trout and panfish. Anyways, that's the gist of the pattern. I'm excited to share this pattern with you today. Let's get started. Alright, let's start as always with putting a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Mustad R50 94840. You can use a any standard dry fly hook. I've mashed the barb on this one. Like these uh, micro barbs, because they're easy to push down. So we're going to start with a Uni Thread Six Aught in tan. The hook I'm tying on today is a size 12. So we'll just start the thread at the eye, and we're just going to roll it back just to where the bend of the hook starts. Trim that off. I'm going to use a piece of fine copper wire. If you can get a finer piece than that, I would recommend using it. This is to help protect your hackle. You can tie this without wire if you like, but you will need to Tie in your hackle at the back and wrap it forward rather than doing a reverse wrap as, as we're doing here today. So this is a peacock version of the elk hair caddis. So I'm going to use one of my favorite materials, the peacock hurl. And as always, I like to use mine straight off the stem. I'm going to use about four pearls for a size 12 and I'm going to trim off the tips and I'll tie this in up to the head I'm going to wrap the thread and rest it at the eye. And then I'm just going to give that a little twist. And we'll start wrapping that forward. And every time I come down around, I just give it a little twist just to keep the peacock curls. Uh, Group together. Right, that looks good. I'm going to tie that, tie that off right there with a couple loops around. We'll trim that. Next, we'll tie in a hackle. I'm using a. This is a whiting dry fly hackle or a saddle hackle and this one is a primarily furnace pattern makes for an, a nice uh, coloration on the fly so I'm just going to strip out a couple of the hackle fibers at the front and I'll tie that in along the side of the hook eye and then I'm going to push that tag end of the stem back 
just to help lock that in place. And now we're going to wrap this. I want to try and make sure that our hackle is our shiny side is facing forward so that the hackles lay backwards. And we're going to put quite a few wraps on this. It's going to be fairly dense so that it floats high on the water. Now we're going to take that back to our tied in wire and we're just going to cross over the hackle. And we're going to wrap this forward and we're going to wiggle the wire as we wrap forward just so that we're not trapping a whole lot of hackle fibers under the wire. And this will give the fly a ton of extra durability. Lock that in. Come in and use not the tips of our scissors, but a little bit further back. And the hackle in the back can just be pulled off. As long as you have to make sure that you have the wire tied tight in there. One thing I do like to do is trim a little bit of this hackle off the front. Just in a bit of an angle. So I'm going to let the wing of the fly sit down there, look nicer. So I'm going to take some deer hair and take a small clump. And we'll just take out the under fur. One thing I like to do is just pass my scissors through the um, bottom there, and that helps get out any of the under fur. I'm going to put that in our hair stacker. Once we have all the under fur and the small hairs out, just give that a couple taps to stack it. Now I'm just going to measure that. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm just going to measure that just slightly past the hook bend. I'm going to take the first wrap fairly loose, and then a second wrap, and I'm going to pull down. I'm going to switch to holding the butt ends and I'm going to come in front and wrap those in tight and then I'm going to pull those forward again and take another couple wraps in behind and then we're going to trim out those tips just to make a nice head on that fly. Alright, so all we need now is a whip finish on this fly. You can dress this with a little bit of fly, dry fly floatant if you like. Um, some people might also just trim out a little bit of the hackle tips under the bottom just to help it sit a little bit flatter on the water. But I find it's not really necessary. But when I do fish it, I like to push the, the wing flat just so that it sits nice and flat, flush to the water. There you go, that's the 
El Caracatus. Thanks for watching. Please take a minute to subscribe to the channel, like this video, or add your comment. Until next time, keep a hook in your vice.